Welcome to Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure, the Let's Play by Diogen Z. I'm your host, and now we will get going as we watch Pikachu pretend to be Mr. Mime. Very adorable. Very awesome cutscene slash loading screen. And we're back on the warm beat zone, thank goodness. Ah, I did not like the frigid zones. It's already freezing enough. I'm just kidding. I like the iceberg zone. It was very well done. I like the Pokemon there, the animations, love the place. But I do prefer the beach zone because it is making me feel a lot much warmer. A lot much warmer. <laughs> a lot more warmer. Yep, April and it's still pretty freaking cold out. But we still will recycle. Just because it's cold out doesn't mean that's an excuse not to recycle. But I think that we've unlocked pretty much everything we can by recycling all the bottles. So this little island here, built on us recycling. Woohoo! Can relax in a hammock. Pikachu doesn't have a laying down button. Hmm. Comfortable. Okay, enough of that. Check out this over here. In case it rains, I suppose. But let's see if Wailord will be our friend. This will most likely be a shortened episode today because I've got some things to do. And I'm just doing this really quickly first. So we're going to have to be kind of curt with today's episode. But we'll just fill in some other friends that we didn't pick up yet. And we'll move on to the next zone. We won't do much in the next zone, but Wailord thanks us for cleaning the beach. And he's now our friend. Wow, that's awesome. We've got Wailord on our team. So I believe that you can use him in Gyarados' attraction. I don't see him flying in Pelipper's, so I'm going to assume that you can use him there. Comment below to say if I'm right. I don't know. I haven't checked in advance. And I really should, because I'm doing a Let's Play on this game. And really, I should be giving you guys the best information. But hey, we're having fun here. So that's all that matters in the end. So, now that Wailord's on our side, we can move on. I don't think I forgot anybody else in the beach zone. So, let's see about upgrading our skills. And then we'll move on to the next zone. Wake up, Pikachu! This is no time to sleep! We're gonna upgrade your abilities! Yes! Come on! Up, up! There we go. Oh ho Look at that! The treehouse has grown! And look at the balloon we got. We carried it from that beach zone. Everybody helped. It was broken. But maybe we can make it fly. Okay, so. My prediction is that we'll be flying around in a balloon one day. Awesome. But check it out. We have Primeape to help us with attack. Physical attack. But we're going to go first spend our berries on Ponyta's dash technique. 350 berries is a very fair price. However, it will go up as we get our abilities upgraded more. And man, that fire looks great on Ponyta. Very well done. Very nicely animated. Gives Ponyta a nice glowing look. And now we can dash faster. Okay, so will you train us? Yes, I would like to power up the dash ability. Or not. For a thousand berries, maybe not. You know, let's let's keep this actually pretty even, guys. Oh, so you know what? Primeape wasn't here before. I'm thinking ahead in the future and in the past, and never mind. Anyway, he's going to teach us Iron Tail, and he's going to help us do it with grace. Yeah! Wow, that was funny. <laughs> His eyes widen when you do an Iron Tail. Now we're stronger with Iron Tail. Wonderful. Alright, so we just gotta shake our Wii Remote and Iron Tail will work. And B Barrel, he just gives us some more hit points, right? Yep, he does. Hit points, health points, either way, 350 berries. Good price. 
Wow, that is a very shiny piece of something. Looks like obsidian. Alright, so now we have our health points increased. And that's good, our Thunderbolt is strong enough in my opinion. So, we can move on to the next zone. But actually, you know what? Before we move on to the next zone, I want to go up into the treehouse. Which has the entrance... Sorry, Driftblim. But, which has the entrance right here. Oh, and look at that, a Burmy has shown up. I wonder what cloak it's in. Hmm. Well, it's in a tree. I'm going to guess that it's in its grass cloak. That's a Pokemon that I never really interacted much with. In the RPG, I mean. What do you have to say? Alright, cool. Don't know what Burmy can do for us, but... It's a pretty cool Pokemon. Oh, so it has some information, maybe. Yes, tell us about this mysterious Mew. Never met him, huh? Interesting. Well, Mew is a very strange Pokemon, and we're going to have to learn more before we can figure out how to get home. But really, who wants to get home? Look at this place. I tell you, Pikachu came from that white, bland pop-up world that looked like a badly made pop-up storybook. So why would he want to go back there when there's all these Pokemon to play with? So we're going to end this episode by going to the Cavern Zone. And we're not going to do anything else, but because it's uh, kind of a quick day for me, I have to get going. We will do more in the next episode. So I have been DoGenZ, and I'll see you next time, guys. We are, we will explore the Cavern Zone.